hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your fps with these best settings on your windows and in your game to improve fps drops lags stutter in fortnite chapter 6 season 3 dropped recently this guide is designed with the help of pros settings so i hope this guide helps you out so make sure to check out till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, firstly, you're gonna have to head over to settings on your PC and for that simply search for settings and right over here come down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. This will disallow your game bar to run an overlay service in the background which can be resource consuming and saving those resources can be really good to improve the performance of your games. After that, head back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. I have noticed this on multiple locations that game mode turned on will always lead to better FPS since it disables unwanted notifications and background activities. After that, click on the graphic settings right beneath that and enable optimizations for windowed games. Click on advanced graphic settings and also enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. After that, click on the add desktop app and select Fortnite from the download location. If you guys are unaware of it, simply open up your Epic Games and then click on these three dots. Then click on Manage. Here you have to click on this Browse button over here and this will take you to the install location of your game. Simply copy this directory and paste it right over here. Right within that, head over to Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on the Add button and if that is already added, scroll a bit down and you'll find this. For the GPU preference, select High Performance and ensure that this is your native graphic card. After that, Click on this option and that should be it. Simply close your settings. And before we move ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Outbyte's new PC repair software which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below. This is an insanely powerful software which will help you to analyze your system's vulnerabilities and helps you to fix all of them. It has a super scan which scans your PC within no time and you guys can simply click on this scan now button and it will start scanning your PC real time. Allow it some time and now it has scanned all of my hardware information right over here. Now it scanned my CPU speed, my CPU load, my memory, my SSDs, my free disk space and once all of that is done it will show you a detailed report. To fix every single one of these vulnerabilities what you guys can do is simply click on the start repair button and it will start fixing every single one of these things once all of that is done you guys can see a simple reboot now button after you reboot your pc everything would be fixed i personally like pc repair because it finds all of the problems which lies deep root within your pc and you guys cannot find it manually it has a ton of premium tools which is a speed test and a cpu cooler wherein if you enable the cooling mode your cpu temperature comes down instantly you can also head over to power tools and over here head down to the speed settings and then you guys can locate the application or games which you play frequently click on the boost button and it will set the correct priority and allocate most of your system's resources to that to ensure that you get a better performance i personally like the outbytes pc repair software and i would recommend you guys to go check out more features in the application yourself by the link in the description below next step is compatibility settings and for that head back to the same directory and right over here double click and open fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll a bit down until you find the win64 shipping.exe right click on that and then head over to its properties then in the compatibility section you're gonna have to disable full screen optimizations click on change high dpi settings select this option click on ok and then apply this will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency next step is right within the epic games launcher in which you have to come over here click on these three dots then go over to options. Here you have to uncheck high resolution textures and click on the apply button. This will uninstall the high resolution textures which will make the game look more basic and this will improve your visibility and also reduce unwanted load on your game to improve your FPS. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here simply scroll a bit down until you find your local disk C, click on the create button and then you wanna have to name it Fortnite just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. 
Once you are done, simply click on close and close system settings. Right after that, you have to download the Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 3 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. And you guys can also join my Discord server for the same. In here, I have left 6 simple folders. The first one is CPU Priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU Priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU Priority. This will help you to set up the correct default values for your processor to improve the performance of them. The second folder does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I use 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this one. Could be different for you so you can apply it from this list over here and if that doesn't work out well, you can reset it back to default right away. Third one over here is Fortnite optimization in which I have left Fortnite priority. You guys can simply double click and run it on your PC and this will help you to improve the performance of your game drastically. Fourth one is disabling unwanted services in which I have left ton of services which are running on the background of your PC. All of them are completely useless less and you guys rarely use those. Unless you use any Bluetooth service or printer services, leave these two as it is and disable every other service right over here. And just in case at any point of life you want to revert them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and double click and apply to revert any of them again. Fifth one is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency and mouse latency fixes. For your keyboard latency fix, I would require you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. According to that, I'll be telling you guys the buffer you need to use. Next is mouse latency registries in which I have have left a simple fixed mouse curve. This is inspired by the pros which are currently competing and this is the curve that they use. It helps you to set up the correct sensitivity mouse X and Y curves for your device and this improves the input latency drastically. After that, the sixth one is programs in which I have left a few of these programs. The first one I'll start with is the quick CPU, which you guys can simply open it up on your PC by installing it. And once it opens up, it can look very complex, but don't worry, I'm here to tell you guys everything about it. Firstly, you have to see this section over here which is the bottom part of this application and you'll find core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and if you have a very good processor you guys can also find a pne core policy as well as the performance over here i would advise you guys to go everything 100 percent that is maxed out over here and then click on this apply button this will put on the best configs for your processor to perform and this might increase the temperature but it will also improve the performance of your processor in real time after that for your power plan you wanna have to set it to ultimate performance if that is available for your pc and then click on the apply button click on ok and close this program second one is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click on it as administrator we are using this software to improve the performance of your graphic card and for that you have to look for your graphic card and then select the msi button next to it for the interrupt priority go with high and then click on apply this allows the graphic card to prioritize handling higher interrupts which will improve the performance without overclocking it simply close it next is clean temporary files which is actually good for your pc right click on it as administrator this will simply ask you to clean all temporary files press enter on your keyboard and this will delete every single one of them if that is being used on your pc some of them would be denied and it's really good for your pc every now and then last is the bear fox pc optimizer which is actually a goated tool i've been using it for a while simply right click on it as administrator once you're over here press enter on your pc and this will create a restore point press enter once again and then press enter once again this will do a ping test on your pc to check what is the latency that you are using right now that won't be shown on your screen but it will be analyzed in the background keep pressing enter and this will start optimizing your pc and once all of that is done press enter again to close it go back and that should be it simply close this next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for just the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on custom select save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth as of screen fonts. Click on the apply button and click on OK and this will help you to deanimate your windows, remove all unnecessary animations to save performance. Once all of that is done, what you guys have to do is press Windows and R key together and then type in app data over here. Head over to local and then search for Fortnite in this list and you'll find Fortnite game. Head over to saved and then config and over here Windows client. You'll find game user settings.ini. Right click on that and open it up in notepad. Once you are here, you have to change a few settings. First one over here is B motion blur. You wanna have to set this thing to false. Then show grass should also be set to false. Show FPS true. B latency tweak one false. B latency flash false. Fortnite anti-aliasing method. It is shown DLSS over here, but I'll tell you guys how to change it from within the game. So we are not going to use it right over here. Then you'll find enable DLSS frame generation. Go with false over here as well. 
well because this adds a ton of input latency. Unless you have a RTX 40 series graphic card which uses DLSS 4.0 to eliminate the input latency. Keep it false. Scroll a bit down until you find front end frame rate limit. You wanna have to set this thing to 144. You'll also find something called B use nanite. You wanna have to set it to false. After that, you'll find something called use headphone mode. You wanna have to set this thing to false as well. Then you have to look for low latency. Then you have to look for low input latency mode is enabled and set this thing to true. B use vsync should be set to false. Also, allow download high res MIPS should be set to false. Then for the audio quality level, go with one and then scroll all the way down until you find the scalability groups. Over here for the resolution quality, go with 90. For the view distance quality, go with one. Anti-aliasing quality is zero. Shadow quality is zero. Global illumination quality is zero. Reflection quality is zero. Post process quality is zero. Texture quality is something that you guys can increase to improve the performance. Effects quality should be set to zero over here as well. Foliage quality is zero and shading quality is zero. After that, you guys have to scroll all the way down and then you'll find D3D RHI preference. Over here, you'll see the preference RHI. It should be set to DX12, but we're going to be changing it from within the game. Once all of that is done, simply press Ctrl and S to save this file and close it. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, latency and ping issues shoes using no ping. You guys can download it for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up this software, it should look like this where you guys have to simply search for Fortnite. Select it and it will recommend you automatically the server with the lowest amount of ping. Simply click on optimize this game to one click boost the performance of your game. This helps you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance which allows you to fix packet loss, ping issues and a lot of other good stuff. After that, head over to boost FPS section and enable these options. Once you're done with that, you guys can also improve the performance of your PC for gaming. I personally use no ping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I think you guys can go and try it on for yourself as well. Simply go check out no ping for free from the link in the description below. Once you're done with everything, head over to Epic Games and then simply launch the game for the in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Right over here, you wanna have to scroll down and set your rendering mode to performance, lower graphical fidelity. Click on the apply button and then restart now. And once the game reopens, you have to head over to your settings and most of your part is already done. For your window mode, go with full screen. Resolution should be your native monitor resolution. VSync should be turned off. Frame rate limit, you guys can cap it according to your monitor. Since I have a 240Hz monitor, I can cap it with 240fps. Then scroll a bit down and you'll find the 3D resolution. Go with 90 if that helps you to improve your performance because it does not compromise the quality of your game much. For the view distance, you guys can go with medium. Textures, I have set it to high, but you guys can also go for medium if you have a super low end PC. For meshes, go with low. Click on the apply button and that should be it. Also make sure that in the audio settings, you guys, the sound quality should be set to low because it impacts the performance drastically. Once all of that is done, go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are so close to 250,000 subscribers and I can only rely on you guys. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.